Well, hello there, Retro PC Durham. Chris here with another PC parts pickup. That's right, we got a donation here from Vicky in Whitby. She uh, contacted me through FreeCycle and let me know she's got some old computer parts and she'd like me to come get them and find a new home for them. So let's take a look at it. Um, I'm gonna actually push the... Oh my goodness, I'm gonna... Ugh. 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 Okay, I got the box moved out of the way, kind of, until uh, we can take a look at this old junker tower. So we got a, a no-name brand tower. It's a little worse for wear. This panel here is broken off completely where the power button is. Uh, we've got a DVD, ROM, CD burner, I think, uh, in here as well. And then the front faceplate here where your USB and audio ports looks like it's popped away. And um, taking a look at the, yeah, we can take a look at the door here. Uh, our USB panel is kind of broken off or the glues let or however it was fastened is not quite working right. So uh, hopefully we can fix that. It looks like there may be some screws here that were missing and need to be reattached. And the clips for holding the, um, the front bezel on are kind of broken away as well. So it's a little worse for wear. And I'm expecting that on the inside it's going to be a little worse for wear as well so we'll get this door off here and uh, take a look inside yeah uh, let's see what do we got here a gigabyte this is a GA 85661 FXM uh, AGP we got a fan here screwed on with one screw uh, okay and we've got a what is this an LGA 478 board I'm guessing by the type of fan that's on here I'm just gonna reach in and see if I can pull out this uh, fan And we can take a look at what kind of processor is installed underneath it. I'm pretty sure this is an LJ478 board. So without looking it up online, just based on the type of cooler that's installed in here, that doesn't want to disconnect. Oh, got it. Okay, finally. Holy cow. Uh, there you go. There's some cooling thermal pad or something that was probably on there was probably like a pre-applied thing all right yeah this looks like a socket yeah this is a socket LGA 478 just gonna uh, wipe off this chip a little bit and we'll see what we have here so this is a, a Pentium 4 uh, 2.53 gigahertz SL uh, rub it away a little bit more SL 65J there you go so an SL 65J LG 478 um, okay I mean 2.53 gigahertz is okay I guess um, Maybe in like a Windows 98 build, these P4s are often uh, pretty good for that. Um, however, if I take a closer look at this board, I can see here one, two of these caps right off the top here are bulged. And uh, for me, uh, my general rule is if one cap is bad, they're all bad, uh, which would mean replacing all the caps on this board. And frankly, replacing the caps on an LGA 478 board is not something I think is really worth it for me. Um, so even if this may be, a, you know, a great board for its time, uh, LGA 478 with a AGP 8X slot, um, this board might not be worth it for me to do anything with. A uh, pair of 256 megabyte DDR DIMMs. 
And if I can remove this, uh, you can take a look and see what uh, the graphics card is installed in here. Can't tell. Some of the caps on here look like they're a little bent, but it's not easy to tell, obviously, when you're just looking at it vertically. But uh, what do we got here? Uh, we've got a Radeon 9600 Pro. Huh. A 9600 Pro. That's actually a pretty decent AGP video card for the time. So for a Windows 98 environment, if I've got drivers for that, it would be really good. And... Um, Definitely for like a Windows XP, um, like a low-end Windows XP, like retro gaming machine, this is a pretty decent card to have. So yeah, okay. If it still works, we'll have to test this out and see if it still works. That might be a good a good little card. And then uh, there's a uh, CCIVO ATX 12 volt power supply here, 350 watts. We'll have to take that out later and test it to see if uh, if it still works it's a um, it's only a 20 pin power supply no no look it's got 24 pin it's got the add-ons so it is a 24 pin power supply so um, this is actually a more recent power supply it's even got a SATA connector on it so this could be a good power supply for us to reuse on a uh, on a rebuild uh, Good, okay, let's move on to the next uh, pieces here. We'll start taking a look at this stuff a little bit closer. All right, we've got an HP uh, USB keyboard. Good, always need more keyboards. We've got another Logitech keyboard here, which is attached to an old set of headphones for some reason. So we've got another USB keyboard here, a Logitech, good, like to see that. We've got a pair of uh, Air Transat headphones. <laughs> uh, okay, interesting. Um, we've got a mono price. This says on the box, HDMI distribution amplifier and splitter. And that looks like it what, uh, it, looks like it, what it, it, it actually is. So we've got an HDMI, I guess an HDMI splitter. So you can take two HDMI um, devices and plug them into one HDMI something. Interesting, okay. I mean, I don't really have much use for that as far as computer stuff goes, but um, maybe I'll put that back on FreeCycle for someone who needs a an HDMI splitter for, for some reason. Uh, what else do we got here? We've got a fiber optic cables, Toslink jack to Toslink jack. So this looks like some audio Equipment. This is a Toslink splitter, or yeah, look, you can switch, you can switch from uh, connection to connection with this. It looks like. Oh, but it's. I think it. I think it might be broken. <laughs> it looks pretty cheap, though. I don't know. I don't know. I guess with Toslink, I mean, it doesn't really matter. You're just switching an optical connection. We have a. I don't even know what this is. I think it it might be a stud finder or a, oh maybe it's a sudoku a portable sudoku kit interesting okay uh we have a uh game controller here a joy tech it's like a third party uh controller here you can tell me you can remind me what connection that is for i'm not a huge console guy is this a I guess this is this like a PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 3 controller, maybe? Uh, we've got some manuals here for this, for a Logitech Rumble Pad game pad. I don't see that in here yet. Maybe there is one. All right, what do we got here? We have a tablet. We have a BlackBerry tablet with a cracked screen. Just a little bit of a, a little bit of, of history here, I guess. So this is a... When BlackBerry was still making devices before they got out of that business and started just doing security stuff. So we've got a 16 gig something. 16 gig BlackBerry something. Interesting, but it does have a cracked screen on it. So I don't know, maybe worth something, uh, maybe not. Who knows, we'll have, to, we'll have to do some research on that to see if it's uh, of any use to anybody. Oh, what do we have here? 
What do we have here? Could be a T series, could be an R series. This is a ThinkPad. Machine type 2366. Looks to be in really nice shape. Yeah, it's a T30. It's a T30. Look at that. And it's in pretty decent shape. The hinges are in good shape. Uh, I'm not seeing any keys missing. Wow. That's looking really nice. Got these cool stickers on the top. Um, yeah, this is in pretty good shape, this T30. Wow, cool. Okay, we're going to have to check check this out a little uh, a little bit further. Pentium M1.8 gigahertz. Um, specs on this would have been, yeah, 1.8 gigahertz, 512 megabytes RAM, 40 gig hard drive, DD-ROM drive, Ethernet, 16-bit Windows XP. Cool, okay. Oh, that's fun. I like that. I always love getting ThinkPads. So um, I don't know if this is going to handle Windows 10, but, you know, maybe we can restore this as a, as a retro machine or something in the future. Okay, what do we got next? We've got an Acer, an Acer Aspire 5920. So this guy's got a little, little hatch here. Uh, doesn't look like it's in terrible shape. Uh, Core 2 Duo. T5450, 15.4 inch screen, etc., etc. Looks like it's in not not crappy, terrible shape. So um, they may even be in a, a power adapter for this in in uh, in there somewhere. So yeah, okay, cool. There we go. We got a laptop here that we might be able to fix up for donation with a Core 2 dual processor. Awesome. What else we got in here? We have a DynaCharge Quick Charger. Oh, okay. Uh, that doesn't look too, too awesomely healthy. Um, I don't really have rechargeable batteries, so that may be going into the somewhere else. We have a uh, another set of, you know, no-name brand headphones. Might put that in the donation bin for uh, Value Village. Empty CD case. Keep that. Those are sometimes helpful. I've got a, uh, a Bud Light uh, mini USB speaker. Oh, look at that. Look at it's. Oh, this is the charger for it, I guess. It's a USB portable USB speaker, uh, which looks like maybe it's not like Bluetooth. You actually have to plug it into something to make it work. Yikes. Okay. Uh, we've got a. MP3 FM modulator, SD MMC USB. So this is a car adapter, plugs in, and it's got a, I guess like an MP3 player, like a four gig Panasonic MP3 player, and it's got a remote control. Interesting, okay. Uh, we've got a power adapter here, which is, I'm gonna guess this is for the Acer laptop. We've got another power adapter here, which is for our ThinkPad. And we have another power adapter here, which is really lightweight. So I'm not sure what that would be, what that would be for. Oh, what else? What snuck out here as well? We got a, a Dynex wireless optical mouse that came out as well. Another mouse, always helpful to have those. We have a travel charger for iPod, Motorola Razor, and BlackBerry PDA devices. This is just like a universal charger here with a like USB AB cable. A PCI, not PCIe, PCI Wireless G from Gigabyte Technologies. So not something that's going to be working in, uh, in uh, a modern machine. Uh, wireless G routers are usually either no drivers for Windows 10 or um, even if they do, the... Um, the protocols and the security won't support on it. Like they can't do WA, WPA2 uh, security. So they're not really great for a heck of a lot anymore. Uh, we got another ThinkPad adapter here. So that laptop had, uh, maybe the person had two adapters for it. And then this power cable snuck its way out. We've got another CD case. We've got another remote control for a Fillmore. 
a Fillmore remote. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't know about that. We have a memory stick. This is a 128 megabyte SD RAM chip. And then we've got this, oh, we've got another remote control in here. And then there's this Dell uh, lap, uh, computer here. We've got an RCA remote control. And then I've got a, a computer here. So, oh, geez. This guy is, is small, but kind of heavy. So let me just move the box out of the way here. And then maybe we can kind of take a look at this machine. Um, this is a Dell Optiplex GX60 with an Intel Celeron inside designed for Windows XP. Uh, yeah, this is like a small desktop style Dell. Interesting. Okay, um, I'm going to put it down on the desk here and let's uh, maybe pop the hood. Taking a look at the back of this, it's got our power cable, there's an ethernet port and then the system board and um, just two buttons on the side usually to release and you can lift up and see inside. So we've got a hard drive still in here. We've got a fan and power supply. This is all toolless to get at the PCI adapters. And take this assembly out and it's got a pair of PCI car slots available, one ethernet card in here on the riser. Uh, no, EG, no AGP slots available on this. So that's something to consider if you wanted to be able to take one of these machines and upgrade it. And then we've got a pair of memory DIMMs in this thing, 512 each, so a gig of memory that was in here. And then a easy remove fan with a Intel Celeron. Yeah, 2.26 gigahertz Celeron processor uh, in an LGA 478. So this board might be able to support a more powerful Pentium 4 processor instead of the uh, chintzy little Celeron. But unfortunately, I see a bad cap in here as well. There is one bulging cap on this side that uh, definitely spells some doom for this motherboard. Oh, ah, I see another one here. There's a cap here that's that's all crusty. Crusted over, so it's already burst and bubbled up and then the uh, fluid is dried out. So this board is, is toast as well. Um, yeah, that sucks. So we'll have to see, I'll have to do some measurements and see if this case itself can even hold a standard motherboard uh, in terms of the where the the screw holes and everything are um, oftentimes these oem machines especially these like weird designs for these these small desktop units in this time period from like dell and h and, and hp compact uh, they're not compatible with anything else everything is everything is proprietary in design uh, you can't transfer stuff over like Stuff like, you know, where the fan assembly is for this, I wouldn't be able to remove this possibly and put it on another LGA 478 motherboard, although the, the, these look like they're about level. But then, do you know if this three pin matches the standard three pin um, fan slots for a regular uh, LGA 478 board? In which case, this blower module may not work on any other board except for this one. And it's a pretty unique design so how do you know you're going to be able to get this, you know, get this all to work the way it's supposed to? So there's, you know, there's a lot of stuff that you got to figure out if it's going to, if it's going to make sense. But we'll take a look at that. I'll take a look at this uh, later and figure out what's usable, what's not usable. That'll be the full haul that we, uh, that we made here today. So thanks once again to Vicky from Whitby for this generous donation i will most likely be able to make use of some of this i mean that acer laptop if it works is perfect for me to be able to get uh, refurbished and and back out there into the using world there may be a chance to make a couple you know retro pcs as well uh, running windows 98 or windows xp and uh, yeah who knows what else in here is actually going to have some some additional life left over for it Thanks very much for watching and uh, checking out my video here. Hope you enjoyed taking a look at this donation. I also hope that you are staying safe and healthy, and we will catch you 
in the next one.